Three years ago, Aaron Rodgers and Nathaniel Hackett teamed up and had the best red zone offense in the NFL. Let's take a look at the All-22 and I'll show you why the duo will transform the Jets offense. Let's go. What is going on everybody? It's Luke here from Play Like a Jet and we are back in the film room with another All-22 breakdown. This time looking at Aaron Rodgers, Nathaniel Hackett and the 2020 Green Bay Packers offense. Why did I choose this season? Yes, Rodgers was spectacular, but this pairing who's now here with the Jets had the number one red zone offense in the NFL. They scored a touchdown on over 75% of their trips and that is a stark contrast to what the Jets did last season. Let's start with the best play you can ever dial up in the red zone. It's called number 12. I'll let this one roll at full speed. Have a look at Aaron Rodgers on the designed rollout and the ability to make absurd throws into tight windows in the red zone. And this one's to our friend Alan Lazard. This is a Jets-themed touchdown. Have a look at this. What have we got off the play-action fake? Aaron Rodgers is trying to find Alan Lazard straight away. They want to sell that he's going to block and release, get him out in the flat. The corner does a fantastic job staying over the top of this route. Does an awesome job containing Alan Lazard. You've got a linebacker underneath. He's double-teamed right here as Rodgers pulls up. Have a look at the platform and the angle of release from Aaron Rodgers. We're throwing that thing at like a 45 degree angle, just sliding that ball in there. Have a look at the ball placement. You show me how that can be put in a better spot for Alan Lazard, who makes the catch corner of the end zone at the pylon, and it's a touchdown. Ridiculous playmaking. Even when the design play doesn't work, Aaron Rodgers can do magical things, and this is a great example of that, and that's how I wanted to start the video. This second snap against the 49ers is much more about play design, Nathaniel Hackett, and the horizontal stress that he puts on a defense, particularly in the red zone. I'm going to let this run for you at full speed. You're going to see motion across the formation from left to right, but have a look at the fake inside zone handoff, the reaction of the second level defenders, and then we're going to sneak the tight end out the back door for a Mercedes Lewis touchdown. What I love about this play is, first of all, the hard play action fake. Look at the three second level defenders. Off the snap, they all take significant steps forward and they get sucked into the line of scrimmage. But now we're going to fool them and think this play is going to be an end around. They're going to bring MVS from right to left across the formation. Aaron Rodgers dummies that motion and look at the flow of the linebackers. They're all going towards the left hand side of your screen. A great job confusing the eyes of second level defenders and then we throw the ball to Mercedes Lewis. Great play design, stressing the defense with both the play action fake but then also eye candy and misdirection across the formation. That is how you win in the tight red zone. This rep against the Chicago Bears might be even better. Aaron Rodgers out of shotgun. Again, he's going to ride the play action fake. We're going to try and sneak the tight end out the back door again. This time Chicago do a great job sitting on it. So what have we got next? We've got effectively a mesh concept over the top. We've got drag routes coming from both sides. I want you to watch the right-hand side of the formation here for the Packers, top of your screen. This drag route is the number two read for Aaron Rodgers. So as he comes into his little designed rollout, it's not their option number one. His eyes flash to the drag route. Have a look how the Chicago Bears bust this coverage. They have two defenders in their zones here, both running with the drag, and it's going to leave Alan Lazard absolutely naked. He puts his hand up right here. He is wide open over the middle, but this is where Aaron Rodgers just goes into beast playmaking mode. Have a look at Aaron Rodgers with a man in his face, pressured. We're going to drift back in the pocket. We're going to throw it off our back foot and just lob this ball in there. Yes, it's a wide open throw, but this is an elite job in the red zone with pressure of going one, to two, to three, with pressure in your face and finding Alan Lazard from the touchdown. Great play design, even though the initial read wasn't there with that little sift motion for the tight end. We're going to read out the mesh. We find our third read. That is a great job from both OC and quarterback. If you've been paying close attention, one of the themes of this video has been how Nathaniel Hackett utilized Aaron Rodgers' legs in the red zone. Yes, he might be 39, but he still has that mobility in spades. Here you're going to see a design sprint out. We're going to cut the field in half. Aaron Rodgers, out of shotgun, is going to find a wide open Devontae Adams on this little flat from the slot. You love this matchup against man coverage. It isn't about making the hero play every single time. Make correct, efficient decisions. We see man coverage. We love the slot route here from Devontae Adams. 
Awesome work from Aaron Rodgers, making the correct read. Good play design from Nathaniel Hackett. Last thing I want to focus on, though, have a look at the funky release point and the platform of Aaron Rodgers. His ability routinely to make these kind of throws. We're going to have both feet off the ground. We are midair. We're throwing with a 45 degree arm angle and we're zipping that ball in there. And he makes it look like regulation stuff. He makes the very special plays look mundane. And that is the trait of an elite quarterback. Aaron Rodgers does this so often in the red zone. He's got the ability to drop his arm angle, to get funky with his platforms, to throw off one foot fading away. You've seen in this tape already, three elite off-platform throws. That's who Aaron Rodgers is. And then the last tendency that I saw from the 2020 Green Bay Packers and their incredible season in the red zone was the ability to throw the goal line fade. Right here, Aaron Rodgers in the red zone is identifying coverage again. We have single high safety, cover one man. You look at the right-hand side of the screen, both the corners, they're directly opposite the receivers. This is very clearly man coverage. Aaron Rodgers, with no safety help to the outside, he's going to throw the ball to number 17. And I hope he does that here in New York as well with Garrett Wilson. But it's a very simple throw from Aaron Rodgers. We're going to take a one-step drop, get our back foot in the ground, and we're going to layer in this fade. But look at the ball location, guys. It's all about putting the football on top top of the cornerback's head, just floats this football in the ideal location. It's Devontae Adams' ball or it's nobody's, and that's another touchdown for the Green Bay Packers. Once again, it's a great job from Aaron Rodgers identifying the coverage you have, finding the mismatch, and scoring a touchdown. So guys, there's just a glimpse of how Nathaniel Hackett and Aaron Rodgers teamed up in 2020 to run the best red zone offense in the NFL. Personally, I cannot wait to see that carry over here with the New York Jets.